G'day viewers, welcome to Wimble Train. On today's video we're going to revisit a old video I did a little while back on this momentary operation of the Kato switches and do a bit of troubleshooting. Now I've had a couple of viewers have trouble wiring this up so I'm going to go through the wiring, show you my rather messy wiring, try and tidy it up a bit and uh, we'll see if we can resolve the issue for them. So first off we can just see the bottom LED there and the switch is in the diverging position and we just flick it across and that all works. So if I show you the back now, the wiring, this is what we have. Now it's a bit hard to see what's going on there so what I'm going to do is um, remove that from the unit itself and just put it out on the bench and we'll just run through how it's all connected. Okay, now we'll go through the circuit step by step. You can see here I've redrawn the circuit with all the connections in different colors for clarity. So at the moment you can see there what we need for this is the actual latching relay itself two LEDs you can pick the color and size that you want for those a 680 ohm resistor now you can vary the value of that resistor depending on how bright you want the LEDs and then we've got our momentary toggle switch with on off on momentary and then at the end we're going to use this little uh, breadboard to uh, hook it all together. So the first thing we need to do is wire up our toggle switch as per the diagram so we uh, have wires running from each corner to the other opposite corner and as per the diagram there and then we have the uh, power supply connected to one end of those connections and then our car toe switch and the latching relay to the middle two pins. Now I'll just wire that up and I'll come back and show you what that looks like. So here's our switch wired up and hopefully you can see the red and black wires crossing over. It's probably a bit hard to see with all that stuff in the way. And then at the bottom here we've got our two wires for our power supply. The black and red wires. And then the green and yellow for our Kato switch and the latching relay. So I have my breadboard here now with my uh, 12 volt power supply connected here, positive and negative to these pins. Now we'll connect up our switch and before we even think about putting the relay on we'll just test it with the uh, Kato turnout. So I'll just wire this up and then we'll uh, have a look how that is all connected. Okay so now we've got our switch connected here with the positive and negative wires as per the diagram connected to the 12 volt power supply and then just to test it out we've got the yellow and green wires as per the diagram connected to the Kato turnout. So now we can just test this on its own and make sure this works and you can hear the and see the turnout operating when I flick the toggle switch back and forth. So we know that works, so now we can continue on and connect the latching relay next. So this is a latching relay. Now what I've done is mounted this on a bit of uh, prototyping board and put little pins, as you can see there, to make it easier to uh, connect up in this example. Now you also notice that um, I've soldered the diodes onto pins one and two already with the, uh, hopefully you can see the striped end facing down connected to the pins one and two. It's a stripe on the diode that is. And then we've got our green and yellow wires running off there just like the uh, circuit shows here and here. So we'll just plug that in now 
So basically the green wires go to the green and the yellow to the yellow. So that's the latching relay set and reset connections all connected to the circuit. So just the left hand side of that relay is connected right now including the diodes so our next uh, step would be to connect the LEDs in and then we'll uh, test it out and see if it all works so here it is all connected up now looks like a bit of a rat's nest but uh, hopefully it'll work when we uh, test it out so we've got our uh, LEDs connected to pin 6 and 8 of the latching relay we have the uh, 680 ohm resistor there connected to pin 4 and the other connections we did to the set and reset before so at the moment we've got uh, one of the LEDs up which we expect so if we flick this switch hopefully it'll um, change over the turnout and the LED if I switch it the right way that is there we go and back again so all working fine that's basically it then I hope hopefully this has helped uh, someone and those people who can't get it to go now important thing is that you have a 12 volt supply at least uh, one amp preferably two amps I'm using a one amp power supply at the moment I did sort of test this circuit with the lower voltage and it didn't sort of work the, it would switch the um, turnout but it would not operate the relay so just make sure your power supply is 12 volts 1 or 2 amps and, and you should be right this is John at Wimbledon saying remember to always enjoy your model railways and we'll see you next time thanks for watching bye for now